Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Doom brought to you by Trim Potato. Unfortunately, I lost the last recording because I don't know why. I guess I just fucked up and it went poof, goodbye. But anyway, moving on. Like, it's sad. There's nothing I can do about that. But I'm also sick and I've got a sore throat and I've got a headache. So right now I am just, yeah... Well, let's just anyway enjoy this video. So, I enjoy the game, so I thought maybe it will help me relax. But you know what? I can't play without recording. So, I'm going to record for you guys. By the way, today I'm joined in the channel here by Toxic Bunny. Say hi. Hey. Hello, everybody. So, How's it here we go. Huh. I don't remember stopping here at the last time. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's just, like. Uh, Oh wait, I think I found armor. That's always slightly useful, depending how you see armor. Yeah. You know, like these maps are so, so the map is like so hectic on all of these like freaking levels and shit like that. that I just get lost on the map most of the time in this game, and it's just crazy. The fuck was that? Nobody can say that they didn't hear that, because that was something. There it was again. Oh my god, there's a really pretty glowing green stone here. I'm just so tempted to touch it, but I'm hearing monsters everywhere. I'm gonna touch it. Hey there, a reward. Available reward, vacuum, increase the range that you can absorb items. That's interesting. So technically, I am an item whore. Oh yeah, works for me. I don't mind that. Count 15 time 10 seconds bonus plus 2 seconds per kill 4 seconds per glory kill. This is interesting. Okay, I see how this works. It's actually pretty cool. Oh yeah. I ain't yet used to this kind of shit. Oh, that was pretty cool. I've never done that kill before. And I have to admit, I actually liked it quite a... Oh my god, it killed my freaking thing that I was killing. Like... A county at least. So, okay, there we go. I got a four second. Got another four seconds. Okay, there we go. I got vacuum. Cool. How do I equip it? Okay. Interesting. Come on. I wonder if it's automatically equipped. Actually, might be. Let me see. Oh wait, what's this? Rune Trials. Rune. No rune equipped, so obviously I equip it there. Vacuum. Oh wait. Further increases. It upgrades as I pick up items. That is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, well that was random. Just like, you know what, you know what, I'm just gonna run away. Like, I know that you come in, so... Like, what's the use? I'm just gonna run. It's okay. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Cause you know I'll be fine. Hello? Oh, God. I can actually see the ambusher. However, I got a rocket launcher, so... Everything was just made okay. Like, absolutely everything. I have a rocket launcher. 
do you know how to rocket launcher? That made no sense. Dude, you gotta stop me before I say stupid things sometimes, you know? I do. That's on that street. Oh my god. It just like jumped in through the door and attacked me. Oh wait, these guys I can just like wreck with like fisty cuffs of doom. Are you playing the campaign or just multi? Uh, campaign. Oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They spawned behind me and they just started double tapping me booty. Oh my god, dude, like, what is this double tapping me booty shit by spawning behind me? Again! I'm running out of ammo here, like, so bad. I'm down to 11 shots on plasma. <gasps> and then, Jesus spawns. I mean, what the fuck did I just say? Holy shit. I have no idea what you just said, but it sounds fun. He doesn't even have long hair. Like, lol, I think he's like corrupted in the brain, so he doesn't. Ooh, shh! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, Santa Claus, is that you? Did you died. I almost died. There we go, it's dead. Dude, those things are big. And their faces are faces only I could love. Like, not even their mother could love them. Like, it's probably <laughs> literally only me. Then I'm... Um, why would you have ugly faces, dude? Because, dude, without ugly faces, we have nothing to make fun of. Doesn't that just sound dull? We have something. We have smoke. What? We have smoke. Microphone, dude. Microphone. We have smalls to make fun of. That's true, and I just jumped off a cliff. Wait. As long as you survive, champion. Well, it's worth it. technically I survived, and then I died. So, I don't know if that counts. Okay, so, first death of this video, caused by unnatural death. I mean, unnatural causes. <laughs> causes. You know what? They should make... I want a BFG. I just made up what? my mind. Like a BFG. Dude, you do know what a BFG is, right? Ooh. Unfortunately not. Hey, okay, well, a BFG is a gun inside of this game called Doom that has... <laughs> Why am I saying it has? Shit. It is just oh my goodness! It's it's like it's technically a really amazing gun, and the name says it all because BFG actually stands for big fucking gun. It makes sense. I know, right? <laughs> oh shit! I could have just beat you to death with a plasma. Oh, fucker! You take full damage in the game. Uh. Not in the campaign, but as far as I understand, in the multiplayer, you take falling damage. I'm not sure, actually. I must take a check. How did you die of unnatural causes? What happened? I fell into a hole of blackness and despair. And it devoured <laughs> my soul in the most evil of ways. <laughs> Possible. <laughs> and it again. Whoa, did, did he just hit the floor and shoot a fireball, or was there something behind him that I didn't see? Hey there. I'm sorry, but that was very rude. I just did something. It fire. And it was amazing. What did, what did you do wrong? No, 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 it was actually, like, really cool. What happened was, like, there was a barrel, and I launched a bomb, but I didn't see the barrel, so it was a happy accident, technically. <gasps> My booty's been slain. <laughs> Again. Well, this time it wasn't unnatural causes. This time it was very natural causes. Called Big Fucking Fist. <laughs> BFF. That's true. BFF. Now we all know what friends are for.
Mm -hmm. Did he at least stab you in the front? Nope. He did oh. it harsh and from behind. He was like, Bastard. shut up and take my money. What the fuck was that? The bastard, he shouldn't take you from behind. Not a fair fight then. It's okay. I take lots when of things from behind. <laughs> when you tussle, you always tussle from the front, no? Uh, sometimes when I'm feeling kinky, I like to like do things in new angles. So I guess I can understand his point of view, kind of. Yeah. I mean, but do you not think it's it's more fun from the front, the back? I don't know. Doesn't but it sound do fun to it? sometimes put it in the tailpipe? Uh, probably. I think the tailpipe sounds kind of fun. Then again, I would know. But I think it's more like, it's more, oh, how do you call it? Exhilarating. That's the right word, I don't know. Exhilarating. Um, Could be. Yes, from the front. So, because if you, like, think of it in a game point of view, when you knife somebody from the front, you feel more powerful than from taking them from the back. You feel more like a ninja from the back, but from the front it's more exhilarating. I think. It's true. But I think then again, there's also a lot of aspects to consider. Like, like? Okay, like, oh fuck me, I died again. Like for instance, what was if the girl that you're trying to do it from whatever angle doesn't like that angle? Then you're not going to be that thrilling for her. I mean, she might just be, do it because of the fact that she wants you to be happy. But in the day, she's actually like sitting there thinking, wow... This is fun. I'm getting fucked in the ass. Yay. You notice the excitement <laughs> in my voice there? I, I noticed it. But remember, you should always ask what she likes. Yeah, but that's... That's mm, that's not what I'm saying. But it's true. Ask her what she likes. But then again, if she like... If you say, So, what do you like? And she replies with... Um, you know what I find really kinky? Why don't you come over here, bend over, and put your massive horse cock on my face? Then what you gonna say? I'm a cute little unicorn. Um. Oh wait, that's what she should say. I. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm a cute little unicorn <laughs> to put your massive horse cock on my face. <laughs> Gigi. I, I'm very concerned for your natural well-being status. Oh Why? Goodness. Because, because if someone tells you to put your massive horse cock on their face, if someone tells me to put my massive horse cock on their face, I'm going to be like, well, thanks. You just told me that my cock is the size of a horse's. How do you and know what a horse's dick is like? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You see? What shit are you into? <laughs> now you know that there's an aspect to this that you really don't want an answer to. But who knows, maybe it's something that makes you interested now because you're like, I wonder, does this chick actually know what size a horse's cock is? Or is she just scary as fuck? Yeah, or she just enjoys large... What, she just like... enjoys large... Horse large penises. Cock. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, because who doesn't like a nice horse penis every now and again? <laughs> no, I'll tell nice. you who. I Me. Don't. <laughs> I really don't. Oh my dear gosh. Oh my. Oh goodness gracious me. Oh you goodness. Died. You I died almost it. died. Oh. oh, you almost died it. Oh, I almost did, dude. Like, I almost bit it so hard that even my mother would have been ashamed to have me as a son. <laughs> That's another thing. I'm pretty sure that if I was gay, I would have been abandoned long ago. Why? But again, I don't know. I don't know if my family would have tolerated it. Not that I have anything against gay people. I really don't. But I wonder how my family would react to that. Haven't you, you ever thought gay? about it? 
Have, yeah, but haven't you ever thought about it? How would your family react if they found out that you were gay? My mom she would not like it at all. My dad wouldn't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think with me it would be the opposite way around. My dad would have a problem. I mean, my yeah, my dad would have a huge problem, and my mom would be like, "Oh, that's okay, son. Everyone to his own." Yeah. You know, I have a gay friend, okay, and he went and he spoke to his one friend about the fact that he was gay. And yeah. I could not believe what actually happened. Like, you, okay, now, people, people deserve privacy, right? And if you go and you tell someone that in secrecy, I think that's a pretty he he hectic thing to tell someone. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I... I... If you tell someone something in secret, in secrecy and confidence, and he goes and he talks to someone else about it, I would be quite pissed. Yeah, what this oak did was his so-called friend went and was just like, "Hey, everybody, this oak is gay. Like, there's no other way to look at it. I think that we should avoid him from now on because, yeah, he's a fag." And I'm standing there thinking to myself. Did you really just abandon him because of the fact that he's gay? Like, I'm sorry, but has he ever tried to touch your ass or make a move on you or any of that kind of stuff? Because if he has, then he's breaking your your trust or whatever to him. But if he hasn't, doesn't that technically make him absolutely harmless and the exact same person you've always known? Yep, except for the fact that you know which sexual orientation he prefers. But like... Is that really any of your business? Like, what is if I like both of them? Am, am I going to be treated the same? Because now I get both of them. Like, I sleep with women and guys. And I'm pretty sure people will handle that a lot better just because of the fact that I actually have sexual relations with women. Yeah, I understand. Like, you're bi. Yeah, well, I'm not actually. I'm just saying, like... I as, think, a, as a yeah, example, I understand. Yeah, I think that the way people handle things nowadays is sad. I think yeah. that's the best way to say it. But as you can say, everybody like has their pre preference. Like, I wouldn't interrupt you or do anything about you having your sort of relationship like. But don't come rub it in my face. Don't try to rub it off on me and I will start to have a problem. Wait. Exactly. Like I have a, I have a few gay friends, not gonna lie. And problems with them? Absolutely not. But if they happened to come to me and like be all like sexually harass you, then I would like almost I'd sexually harass. Even if it was a girl I would not if I wouldn't want it, I would not like it. Like it to happen with me. To be honest, I think different experiences build people, so like, having a gay experience sometime in your life might be a good thing for you, but only to the aspect that if you willing to do it. Other than that, I don't believe that any kind of actions or anything like that should be taken against any kind of people that don't want to. Yeah. Holy shit, when I am sick, I go into this whole code of morals and shit, and it is just so <laughs> strange. It's quite interesting. I think I think when I'm sick, my mind is just like, you tell them, you tell them everything. Oh, I found another That's one. I, when I'm I, I, like that when I'm I just, I found another green glowing stone of challenges, and I'm going to touch it and make it mine. Touch it. Violate it. Oh, I put my fingers all over it. Mm. Ooh, what did it say? I don't know. I think I have to kill something again. Oh, Dazed man. and confused, armed with a pistol, destroy 30 barrels before the timer expires. Does that, that mean I have to charge my pistol? Wait. Just right click it. Aimed with the pistol. Aimed. Okay, so I do have to charge. Just kill it with fire. I totally would kill it with fire. If only fire was that effective. Yeah, uh, that doesn't help a lot if something comes out of the house. 
<laughs> exactly, dude. Oh, I can't believe I actually missed that. Did you miss? I missed one of the easiest shots that I can make in my sleep. <laughs> It's fine, I will redeem myself. 28, 29, and 30. GG, I am just so good. Like, I could just rub my nipples all night right now. <laughs> Mark? Yes? When I Google, um, dank as fuck, the computer opens my web camera. What the fuck? Oh, lol. <laughs> Oh, lols, dude, that's... <laughs> dude, you can't yeah. even hit what if you fell off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes sense if you if the boat is like... The air. Yeah, if it's man. an air shit. You, you know, know what? I think this location, right, chat, is perfect to end this episode for tonight. So, I'm gonna end right, chat. I'm going to continue on the next episode tomorrow. So, everybody, thank you very much for watching. And I hope that you enjoy this episode. And as always, have a great day. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe for more epicness from me. From him.